Hey guys, so I am done with the wash step and now I'm in the process of deep conditioning my hair with the Mixed Chicks deep conditioner. Um, I've already done half my head and now I'm just going to do this piece for you guys here. So let's get into it. So I've done something different. Usually I would just go straight in with the deep conditioner and I wonder why I use so much. But now this time I've gone section by section and just wet my hair with my spray bottle and then just did a small section and look how much I have left and my whole head is basically done. So I'm gonna take this section Spritz it with water because really spritzing it with water even though my hair is fresh out of the shower and I started this style on soaking wet hair I think that I might have high porosity hair where my hair dries really quickly so I need to go back through even though I'm coming straight out of the shower and spritz it again and what spritzing it with water does is it helps spread the product so that a little bit goes along way because you end up needing a lot more when you don't have that moisture in there to thin out and distribute the product so I'm only taking about this much and now I see why other naturals only use this much because when your hair is damp really that's all you need and watch how it stretches over this section of hair And I just prayer hands it to get everything distributed. I'm gonna take a little more and get the end. And then, guess what I'm gonna do? Spritz it again. Just to give it that extra slip that it needs while I brush through my hair. And boom, that's all the product I needed for that section. And look at it, completely saturated. So I'm going to go from the ends all the way up to the roots. In the front of my hair, because it's gotten a little bit more straight from the slip back ponytails and stuff like that, like pulling the hair back to the back of my head it's so easy to detangle it's created like a whole nother texture up here but I'm just taking my time working through that hair and working through that product so I need my ends trimmed can't wait for that I hope she doesn't cut. I hope she's not scissor happy and cuts like a whole bunch off because I really want to see how much it's grown in two years. So now I'm just gonna twist it up, do my last section in the back, and then I'll check back in with you guys when I'm applying the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. This is not a Mixed Chicks promo video. They did not um, sponsor this video or pay for the products. I pay for the products out of my own money because I've been looking for a different leave-in conditioner and I just thought, what the heck, while I was at Target last night, let me just try three other or two other products from the brand in addition to the leave-in conditioner. Hey you guys, I'm back on the cam here with the Mixed Chicks uh, leave-in conditioner. So... I'm about to go through my hair with this product. I will come back when I'm almost done with my hair. Can't really smell it. Doesn't really have a smell to it. Um, kind of just smells like how to describe it. Kind of just smells like clay. Hey, you guys. So I'm back. Um, almost done with my.
can wear my hair, okay? I'm almost done getting the leave-in conditioner through my hair, but I thought I would come back. I'm at the second to last section of my hair. The front sections are always really easy to go through, and then the very back is also always easy to go through, but the middle, I guess because in the styles I do, it doesn't really get smooth, like smooth like the front does or smooth like the back does when I'm doing like a high ponytail. Um, so it's a bit more coarse, and I just wanted to show how the product works on a more coarse section of my hair. But so far, first impressions of the product, I actually really like it. Um, it has a lot of slip, and I don't know if this has anything to do with, like if one has anything to do with the other, but I feel like the deep conditioner of the same product line kind of primed my hair um, to use another product in their line because it's just going on so easily and my hair is absorbing it so well um, So, you know, I don't know but I think that's another benefit to using multiple products in the same brand you guys so i'm wrapping it up with the styling cream so i got my deep conditioner rinsed out got my leave-in conditioner combed in and now mm, now this one smells good this smells good and the deep conditioner smells good but the leave-in conditioner doesn't really have a smell to it to me it's not really giving I'm not really seeing any definition, not gonna lie to you. I think this this cream would probably work better as a um like for twists for a twist out. It's not giving at all. Maybe towards the end. But not not very much definition at all. But maybe, maybe, um, this one still has got the leave-in conditioner residue, that's so why I'm a little hesitant. But I'm gonna, um, brush back through it. And then try, like, finger foil on it. Let's see what that does. I'm looking for definition here, I'm not afraid of it. I might go through the rest of my hair like that just to see um, and then if I don't like it or something, I'll do my bubble ponytail, but this shouldn't, it shouldn't get too detangled, like unlike the gel, you know, so I'll check back in in a few. All right, guys, so I am back with the finished product. I ended up just doing finger coils all over my hair, like loose finger coils. Um, I think it looks really good for a cream. It's not like a gel where it has a certain hold level or anything, but this is my hair um, wet. It's about, I say it's about 50% um, wet because it's not soaking wet, it's like damp. But I'll check back in when it's like 75% dry and when it's like 100% dry. But I'm just gonna let it air dry. Um, I like it, it's a nice soft, curl um you can kind of see some definition going on it did try to define a little bit more um the more that i went through it and wrapped my finger around it for the little coils but um i'm not mad at it i'm really not really not mad at it this is the back yeah not mad at it at all. I like it. I think it looks pretty. Um, it helped my hair to hang down because usually, and this is what I'll be watching for when it dries, but without me even like picking my hair or anything, it just goes straight up instead of 
going like down, like staying down. So we'll see the more, um, we'll see the drier it gets, like how it naturally wants to go dry upward or if it wants to hang. That's usually why I use gel with my finger coils too or my wash and goes because it helps my hair to hang again down. So um, we'll be checking for that, but pretty please. I feel like mixed chicks did really good. I, I would like to try next um, my regular wash and go with the leave-in conditioner and see how it works with my gel. Um, but pretty happy. I think I might have found myself a new leave-in conditioner, but I'll be back with the update.